Hey guys, it's your favorite gold miner prospector and geologist, Jeff Williams. And today we're out on the hunt looking for a lost gold mine, but not just any old lost gold mine. We're looking for the fabled lost wagon wheel gold mine. Yeah, I bet I got your attention with that one, huh? So let's get into it. Now for any of you guys that know anything about the lost wagon wheel gold mine is that the quartz that the gold was found in supposedly was in some beautiful red material. And that's what we're looking for. And it looks like we might, oh, oh, I don't want to fall off that. And it looks like we're going to get some rain. So hopefully we don't. If, I, if we do, I'm going to have to look for a cave. Do you see what I see? Right up in there. See how juicy red that outcrop is? That's exactly what we're looking for. And you thought I was kidding when I said I had to climb up to the top of that mountain to check that outcrop. To see if we're even close in that way and also get a vantage point and look around. See where we're at. Ooh, look what I see. See that? Not much. And then there's some more of it right up there. You see it? It's not much, but it's enough to get excited. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful pocket. That is some nice looking material. And there's some more of it up there. Yeah, right here. See that? Ooh, see how red that just got? Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that angry sky. I gotta climb over those mountains. Oh, here we go. Now we've searched Google Earth intensely and we use all different types of filters. I'll go over that later. And we have three locations that we think are great potentials based on mineralization and of course, the routes that a lot of prospectors were taking back in the day and of course where the story lines up supposedly in this geographical area i got these waterfalls everywhere look at this isn't that nice these are nice little pockets to find gold oh look at this one red stain too do you see that red stained nice more waterfalls look at this nice Go all the way up. Look at that. This is a good trap. It even trapped that bush. You see that? Look at that. Look at that. What's in there? What's in there? That's why you can't use Google Earth for everything. You got to actually get your boots on the ground and go investigate. So let me give you a little backstory on... Oh, 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 look at this. Look, look. Look at that. Right here on the hillside. Oh. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, that had to come from somewhere. That's the kind of stuff to get your blood pumping. Now you just got to find out where it came from. Oh, I know I'm hot on a trail. Oh, I got a little vein right here. Look at this. Right here. Do you see that fissure right there? And see the mineralization forming in that fissure? Some of this stuff you would never see in a million years unless you're right on top of it. Look at this. Just out of nowhere beautiful outcropping look at that we still got climb up that way and we came from down there oh look at that stack of rocks right there stack of rocks that's always good now back to what i was saying before i i got distracted now the backstory on this mine is that there were three prospectors wandering the hills looking for obviously deposits of gold and they came upon this really beautiful iron oxide hematite stained quartz outcropping and they started to remove it put it in their wagon take it back to town the local indians didn't like that too much so they came up on them and they they killed two of them outright and then they wounded the other one badly bad head wound Luckily, the one prospector made it out of there, made it back to town somehow with a sample of ore, which looks very similar to what I have now. It took him months to recover from his injury, but when he did, they got a posse together and they went out looking, looking for this fabulously rich gold mine. The reason why it's called the Lost Wagon Wheel Mine is because the Indians they burned their wagon to the ground and all that was left was a fragment of a wagon wheel. And that's the only way you'll know 
that you're on top of the deposit is finding an old wagon wheel. Of course, that was 150 years ago. It's probably turned to dust by now. The samples he brought back assayed incredibly rich. Of course, he never did find it again because he, he had such a bad head injury. But he did look for the next 25 years trying to find that monker and never did. And that's where we come in at. We're gonna go looking for it. But it's just so much land to cover. Look at this, look at this fissure. Look at that. Just little tiny thin fissure. And it runs all the way up the hill. You see, you see that? All the way up. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of faulting going through here and a lot of secondary mineralization coming in. Yeah, yeah, I know. Get on with it, Jeff. Get up that mountain and tell us what's on the other side. I'm working on it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and climb to the top of this mountain and go to the other side and see what I can see. And like I said earlier, there's three locations that we have zeroed in on this to find this. And this is number one. Hopefully we get it on the first shot. <laughs> I'm going to be out here for weeks chasing this darn legend. Whoo, man, I'm glad I ate my Wheaties today. Man, I tell you, that wind's going to blow me right off the side of this mountain. <sighs> But I see a clearing way over yonder. So let's go check it out. If I can get down off this mountain. Here's the clearing right here. It's a nice little open spot. That's where I would be. No wind down here too. No wind. Looks like a campfire. That looks like an old campfire or something. That's not, doesn't look like it's supposed to be there. Oh, look, look, quartz, quartz, I got float. Beautiful looking float. Finally, the sun's coming out. If only the wind would stop. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Something, anything. Hey, there's a metal strap. Look at that. There's an old metal strap. And there's a whole bunch of float quartz. I don't know what that is. That don't look like it belongs here. And oh, and I got a piece of wood sticking up out of there. That looks like an old piece of a wagon, maybe. Yeah, and there's float all over the place right here. Pieces of quartz. And look, there's quartz everywhere. There, there, there. There, oh, this is oh, there's quartz there. All along the hillside here. This is a good spot, I bet you. I bet you. All we gotta do now is find out if there's a mine in the area. All right, so we're gonna go check the canyon real quick. Cause I don't see anything on the hillside. There's some caves over there too. Oh. I'm getting excited. I don't know. Oh, look at this. Look at it. Just gobs and gobs of black sand. See it? Nice. It's going down that way. And I got tons of it coming from up there in this clearing. So which way do I go? Do I go this way or do I go this way? I want to go this way. Because this stuff looks good. I mean, look how red it is. Ooh, that looks juicy. I see a lot of animal prints in the wash. Oh, 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 I got a quartz vein. I got a quartz vein. Look at this monker, huh? Look at this guy. He just showed up out of nowhere. Look at that. And you got epidote and chlorite right next to it. You see that? Nice. Look at that. Mmm, yeah. You see that monkey right there? Oh, that's so juicy. And there's a parallel vein right here. And look at this one. And look at all these little tiny stringers running through here. Oh, that's a good looking vein. Oh, and I got one here in the wash. Look at this. Look at this beautiful white quartz vein. See it? Right here in the wash. And it's running the same direction as the other vein. Look at these. These are all parallel veins. There's another one right here. If it had just a little bit more flow sand on it, you would never know it's here. Look at that. 
that is so cool. And that's why I'm always telling you guys, a lot of these veins are still out here. There's so much gold that's still available. Some of it's only mere inches under the surface. All it takes is mother nature just to blow off some of the flow sand or some of the overburden. And you could be sitting on the mother load. Ooh, you know I'm sampling that one. So I got one, two, three, four, five veins to sample from. Are you kidding me? He's all up on the hillside, you see that? Look at that, look at that. Isn't that the juiciest stuff you ever saw? Big old fatty. Look at that. Nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Big old honker. Nice. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> look at that. Just look at that material. If that doesn't get you excited, nothing will. Look at that vein. That vein's got to be... I don't know, maybe about 12, 16 inches wide. Oh, it looks like the meteor stuff is over here on this side. You see it right here? This isn't too bad. It looks a little barren, but this is the stuff I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. There's another one right there. You see it? See all these little stringers? All over the place. Stringers and ladder veins and bockworks. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. Now look, the vein is gone. It's gone. It's just right there. This is what I mean. You gotta get boots on the ground. Cause you would never see this from Google Earth. And look, it's gone. There's one more vein. I got a little bit of a digging right here. Look at this. Not much. You can see where they blasted this out right here. And see the vein material right in the middle? Right here. See that? And all of that. It's not bad looking, but I like the other one better. A lot of epido, chloride, olivine, the usual. A lot of iron over here. It's not bad. It's not bad looking material. Maybe it gets juicier on the way in, huh? Yeah! Look at that. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. You seeing that? Mm -mm -mm. Right in through there. I'll sample that one too. And see if there's any more in the area. Oh, it looks like somebody blasted this out right here too. You see that? Doing a cross cut to see if there's another parallel vein. But this stuff right here, this is what I'm interested in. I mean, come on. And like I said, it only outcrops for maybe... What is that? Maybe 60 feet? Yeah, because the outcrop ends. The outcrop ends right here. I can see a little bit of it up on the hill there. But it ends right here. Just this little area. And this is what I'm always telling you. Get out and explore these old gold mining districts. Follow up on these old legends. Just get your boots on the ground and look around. Because maybe, just maybe, there was enough erosion to weather this stuff out. And you could be sitting on a gold mine. All right, I'm gonna sample this stuff. I'm gonna pull some stamp. And if you like today's video, you better smash that like button, smash it hard. And if I got any gold, I'll put up a snapshot in the next video. And if you wanna see more videos on gold prospecting, just watch this video right here, and I'll see you <laughs> on the next video.